Okay, we are going to continue how to do the simulation by view our result after we have solved everything. So now this is the model that we have and you can see that some uh, coloring that will be around. So first step we are interested in is to look at the internal, what is happening. So you take a look at your left hand side, your design study bar and the result tab. Normally I will off the solid because we are interested to see the flip behavior, not the solid. So then normally I will just uncheck it. Now you can see that I uncheck. This is included, this is excluded, the solid part or your pack. Next thing, we want to know the internal, we will apply plan. By default, when the time you click the plan, so they might choose uh, the plan that on your uh, normal to your X exit. So right now, I will just add a new plan. And you can see that they will include a plan that is normal to your X exit. There's a plan. However, if let's say you would like to modify that, click on the pencil there that's edit and call out the plan control. First, take a look at normal and the three numbers here. The three numbers is represent x exit, y exit, and also z exit. And if one on the x exit that's when you will create a plan that is normal to that particular exit if right now i want to create or modify the plan to become a plan that y exit normal to y exit then i will just open that and you can see x y and z i will put zero on x to deactivate it and one on y so now I will have a plan that is normal to Y exit. And now you can see. Of course, after that, you can try to move it to the level that you would like to see the result. And by default, they may start from 0.5. That is middle of it. So that will be your result. And if you would like to see others beside velocity, you can also change according to what is listed down there. For example, if let's say I choose pressure, then we put pressure. If you choose temperature, it might be just consistent, the whole pipe. Temperature and other, other than that, it's up to you. I so just switch it back for velocity. So you can add more than one plan. Right now, I have only one plan. You could take a look at your result there. Let's say I add another one that will be x normal to x exit, but I would like to push them a little bit back. example now I have two plan or even I will create another one that is normal to Z exit modify that click normal of the others on Z so I have one and try to move it back Then I have a full view of the behavior what is happening on my flip by using plan. You can off that and uncheck. So when the time you uncheck your result, you might see or seems your whole model is disappeared. Basically that is not the case. Because when the time you uh, call out result, any of the result 
using different tools, your model will automatically switch to become outline, which is under view your visual style outline. So if you change it back to the other visual style, that your model basically will be back. Okay. So that is a case. And the result is back as well. Okay. Next. We are going to take a look at how to set up trace. So we call the trace and then we click add. And right now, just follow something like this. Now you can see. I call out a trace or the line of the flow behavior. And the seed, we call the seed that we call out, it is the seed to govern every line from the input to the output. See that, but the most important thing is you use trace, you can read the flow behavior overall. You can see from the input to the output. And I even can conclude saying that when they flow, when they turn 90 degree, and then they have some rotation. It is happening. So basically, that is the general idea of how you can view your result after you have solved your CFD model. I set up your boundary condition as well as the others uh, condition. So call it back, and then you can also include your plan together. Okay, so that's it for the general idea how to do the internal flow by using Autodesk CFD 2019.